What's up guys, Jonathan here with TechFist Lunch and Dinner bringing you part 1 to my quad core MacBook Pro upgrade and the first step we gotta do is move the 11 screws from the bottom side of the MacBook Pro. Now once all the screws are removed, we're going to pull the lid off. You're going to get a little bit of resistance, so go ahead and put a little bit of muscle into it. Once you hear the click sound, you know you're good to go. We'll go ahead and start out with the RAM. There's two little levers. Go ahead and push those out to pop out the RAM. Take the first module out. Proceed to do the same exact thing with the second module. This is probably the easiest part of the installation. Now that the old RAM is out, let's go ahead and put the new modules in, starting with the bottom one, put it in at a slight angle, give it a little shake and bake, look for a click, and then we'll go ahead and do the same exact thing with the second module. And you're all set, give me a high five, you got the memory in. Now before we install the SSD, we got to remove the old hard drive, so there's two screws on the top right there that enclose the hard drive. Let's go ahead and remove those so we can pull the hard drive out. Once that's off, let's go ahead and pull the SATA connector off the hard drive and we got to pull this little tab off right here because we're going to use it again on the SSD. And for the last step of removing the old hard drive, there's four screws on each corner of the hard drive. Let's go ahead and remove those. Now those same four screws removed from the old hard drive, let's go ahead and install them onto the new SSD or if you're throwing in like a 7200 RPM hard drive, same thing applies, just go ahead and put it on the new drive. Once all the screws are installed, we're going to go ahead and put the SATA connector back on as well as that tab. When you put it in, make sure you put it in towards you first and then the other way around. After that's all secure in place, we're going to go and put the enclosure back on the SSD and we're almost ready to go. Next, we're going to go ahead and put all 11 of those screws back on and secure the lid before we turn on the MacBook Pro. Now that we're all done, let's go ahead and flip the MacBook Pro open, turn it on. Now this I'm going to walk you guys through doing a fresh install of the OS. What we got to do is hold down the option key until the gray screen appears. Once you do that, you can install the disk, keep holding down the option key. What this is going to allow you to do is choose your boot up preferences. And then from there, you'll be able to choose the Mac OS CD. Let's go ahead and click that. Once the CD boots up, we gotta format the SSD before we can install the OS. So let's go ahead and go up to Disk Utilities. We're gonna select the drive we wanna format. Head over to Partition. For this instance, I'm just gonna set it up to one partition. You wanna make sure it's set up to GUID Partition Table. We're going to do Mac OS Journal Extended. That's going to allow you to format it so you can put the OS on there. Once that's all done, you can select the newly formatted SSD. Go ahead and select that so you can install the OS on there. And you're basically ready to go. So go ahead and stay tuned for part two. I'm going to compare the before and after, give you guys benchmarks, kind of a stress test. Uh, I'm going to break this down into basically a four-part review. Uh, the third video will be the installation of the data doubler. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped. Uh, let me know what your configuration, if you plan on upgrading your MacBook Pro is. Feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.